I have millions of I want to hear some of them. No, they're all in there. Really? That's the point of being mysterious, is that oh, we don't tell Oh, come on, just people. like, where did she, you know, what was her childhood like? Oh, well, there's some very basic things. Yeah. I mean, when I, when I first read it, I couldn't quite understand who she was. Right. And I was brought up in Ireland. I thought, I thought, why can't she be Irish? And they said, because you wouldn't be allowed Joy in MI6 if you're Irish. Um, <laughs> and I'm afraid that's still true. Um, so I was a bit sad that she didn't go to the same university I went to. That would be so much easier to play yourself, wouldn't it? So, it, so she's definitely from that Oxbridge uh, line of, of training. And we keep bumping into people that she probably knows from then. You'll, you'll meet one coming up soon in the um, next episodes. Uh, she meets a few, you know, there's, a f there's always the odd friend. She knows a lot of people, you know, obviously she knows a lot of people in Russia, but she also knows a lot of people in England. So she's very much of that tradition and that remains, I know a lot of people mm -hmm. like that. Um, she's also very like my boss uh, when I was at the National Theatre, uh, who's a wonderful woman who's, I, I, who's called Baroness Jenny McIntosh. And um, she is, um, uh, I, I, from Jenny, who I absolutely admire and adore, there's elements of Jenny's ability to be both benign and entirely incisive. So I kind of learned that from Jenny. Um, but in terms of other backstories, I mean, we know where she lives. We know what, how she lives. We, she lives in West London. She lives in one of those rambling old houses that are really gorgeous and prohibitively expensive to buy. So, I mean, don't even try it. Um, she clearly has an income from somewhere else other than because actually civil servants don't get paid very much. The other interesting thing about her that we're slightly, I think, now pushing is that when I was researching it, you know, people who work in MI5 or MI6, the higher you go up the ladder, and there are probably some of them here in the audience, <laughs> um, you, you wear less and less um, status-ridden clothes. So that if you hang around, and you can see where MI5 is in London. It's down the south of the river. There's a huge building. If you just hang around there, though, you might get arrested. If you, just, <laughs> if you, don't, if you don't, don't have a binoculars, you know, just have a... Um, you see them coming out. And the person who looks most ordinary, least well-dressed, is probably the boss. But uh, I, I've got more interest in the clothes as we've gone along. Yes, I just actually read a really interesting article uh, with the costume designer, and she was saying that with Carolyn, uh, it, there's a sex appeal, there's power, but she's also wearing a coat often because she's jutting from place to place, and I love yes. that detail. Yes, in the first season, I always had a handbag. In the second, I have no bag. Yeah. I'm now going even faster. I don't even have a handbag. So uh, she's a character who, obviously, we're going to get to see more, but um, do you trust her? Should we trust her? Of course. <laughs> course with your life. <laughs>